Today we're out in the shop and I'm working on a mechanical whirly gig. This one's going to have a lot of movement, a lot of action. So here's how it's uh, coming along so far. The so propeller turns here on this shaft and then I've got my wooden gears I'm having a problem here, as you can see. And that is, we've got this framework, and the shaft has to go through the bearings at either end of the framework, and then it has to attach to these, I would call them wooden gears, there's no teeth in them, but these could be cams, and then they can't move. on the. So how do you affix these to the shaft? So I came up with this little method here, I'm going to show you how I do it. This has a collar on it. And the collar is soldered to a piece of sheet metal. And the sheet metal has two holes in it to take screws. So I'll take this apart and uh, show you how this works. So I'm going to take this propeller off. I'll show you... I'll a lot of guys, the kind of the traditional way to do this, and I think uh, a lot of books, the book, Whirly Gig books, this is this shaft is uh, threaded. If you don't have a set of dies, it can be kind of difficult to get a good thread on there. So here's here's a shaft that's going to have one of the cams on it, like this. This is the vertical shaft. That's the one. That's going to be the one that makes this thing spin like that now I tried threading these and the, the problem is again you can't you have to take the bolt off to get it to slide through the bearing Now the vertical ones you can do that, but the horizontal ones you can't. So I came up with these little gadgets here. These are Dubro model airplane wheel collars. These are called Duro collars. Most any hobby shop or the mail orders will have these. They're made of brass. They're plated, but they're made of brass. Because they're brass, they solder real easy, and I soldered them on to a piece of sheet metal. This is just scrap. I think it was uh, some ducting from a house or a flange for a roof, roof flange for a chimney. But these collars have a set screw in there, like that. You just slide it on the shaft. and then tighten your set screw and now that's going to turn with the shaft so what I did was I took this and I drilled a couple of holes in it so on this one just take these screws drill them right into your cam like that There you go. Now, I can, I can slide this on and off anywhere I want it, position it to get it right in the right position, and then take my Allen wrench, snug it up, and there you go. No reason you can't use this for propellers. 
you could attach this to your hub just like that and then you could take your propeller on and off with just a set screw. You could put one on each side and have two set screws if you want extra security. So let me show you how I make these. So the, the first thing I did, cut out a piece of scrap metal with some snips. Just like this. I mean, you could make these into triangles. You could have three screws, as many screws as you wanted. I'm just using two because I think these don't have a lot of pressure on them. This isn't a big whirly gig. If you're making a big monster one, you could make this uh, round, you know, and put four screws in there if you want. I'll make it square. So I just cut off a little piece here, like this. Anyway, I don't drill the holes yet. Right? The hole in these has not been drilled. Sand it with a little piece of sandpaper to clean the galvanization off there. And then just lay the collar right on top. Just lay this on a fire brick. Lay that on there. Just a tiny bit of flux. Bring the torch in. And when the flux liquefies, I just touch, touch a blob of uh, solder on there. And let it cool. So the next thing is to do the holes. Now you can drill these with uh, whatever size screw you know, you're going to use the hole, the appropriate hole. But I love this uh, little thing, Mr. Pete, Mr. Pete 222. He has uh, all kinds of tools that he shows and what, what is it and what's it for. And he showed that it's a hole punch, but it's for metal, for sheet metal. So you just pick out your size. I found one uh, at a flea market. You just pick out your size, and you you screw you screw the appropriate punch and die in there. Watch how easy this is. And you just take your piece and you put it in like this. You just slide it right in there. See that? Get it where you want it. Boom. Got a perfect hole. I love this thing. It's called a number Whitney number five junior punch. And these are great. Whitney Metal Tool Company, Rockford, Illinois. Been to Rockford many times. Okay, let's do it again. Do the other side. Got a little off on that one. So easy. They're great. All right, so I've got I got a couple of these punched up. So now I'll come over here to the mill as a drill press. And I have the appropriate size drill already set up here. And I've got a little block of wood in here just to keep these from going too far down. And the reason I, I do this like this, the drill bit cuts through the metal. It'll tend to spin. And if you're just holding it like this, it's a really danger of cutting your finger. So don't don't hold little pieces like this of sheet metal in in the drill press. Put them in a put them in a vise. I soldered it before I drilled it. That makes it easy. See how that even with this it spins. Okay, that's one. Do another one. And now, let's try these out over on the workbench. Okay, here's another disc. 
And this disc, as you see, is cut at an angle. So when this disc uh, rides on its cam, this shaft is going to go up and down. And I'm going to have this little guy here, this little man, or somebody like him. This isn't the final product, but he's he'll be going up and down and doing all kinds of stuff. And he'll be driven by this. And here's my little driver. When you buy a pack of these, I think if, even if you buy a pack of four, I think that's the smallest pack you can get. They come with a little Allen wrench in there. So, just tighten that up. Put it on there like that. This is just my uh, scrap scrap screw box. So these are recycled into my whirly gig. So that's what I'm doing here. Here's a great big one, just for fun. Tighten it up. <laughs> 